Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. It's Sovereign Saturday, y'all. A sovereign man must be competent. A sovereign man, because I'm gonna tell you what, first of all, you gotta really be competent just to get to that point of sovereignty. Because competence, let's, a basic place that you need competence is on your job, your business, how you making money. That's how you're making money. If you're competent on a job or in your business, the tendency will be to make money. The tendency will be to keep that job. Of course, sometimes there's some political stuff in there, but that's something for my money channel. But being competent is very important. Being able to handle something, being able to take care of business, because a lot in what is competent, just good at it, thorough with whatever you're doing. Like a competent person, like here's an example, sweeping, sweeping a floor. Now, an incompetent person, they'll just do a little bit there, maybe sweep up some stuff, but there's still stuff in there. A competent person will sweep the corners and every part of it. It's just being thorough. It's doing your job good. And that's just for making money. That's simply for making money. Just being competent, period. Whatever you're doing, being consistent, whatever you're doing. Shoot, making love to that beautiful woman. Just being good at it. Just no matter what. Because competency is power. It really is. It's, it's power. It gives you competent confidence. Because think about something. If you know you can do a particular uh, activity, if you know you can do a job, it could be a job, it could be lifting weights, it could be playing a sport, it could be driving a car, it could be just how you interact with people. When you're competent, it makes you confident in what you're doing. Now, some people might say, well, anybody could be competent. Mm, no. How often have you like had something done for you, some job done, and it wasn't done correctly? Think about it. Think about it. You know, how often has that happened? Like, I remember, I remember when I was young, I was at my grandmother's, and she had this guy who um, said he could paint. Now he hadn't painted before, and my grandmother was the type who would, um, you know, she'd give people a chance. And he did his painting, and he's talking about, well, I don't need no, I don't need no drop cloth, anything like that. I, I paint so good, you know. She was nice to him, but then Rom had to spend some time helping her clean paint, uh, paint um, drops off of different furniture and everything. He wasn't competent. A competent person would have made sure everything was uh, covered, would have had to tape everything. In fact, a good painter, a competent painter, covers everything, will spend time to cover everything else up first. But see, this guy was incompetent. And, you know, and that's a key thing. That, that's a key thing to really consider. That's a key thing to consider. Because if you're not competent at something, you know, people don't want you around. They might be nice to you, some might be mean to you, but they don't want you around. They don't want you doing anything for them. I mean, the basic way, just working. We ain't even talking about dealing with women or anything. Just working. Because what did I say? Confident, I mean, uh, sovereign men in this, in this world need money to live. But if you can't do a good job at something, a competent job, at something, why would somebody give you money? Why would they keep you in a job? Why would they give you a raise? Indeed, you know, let's, let's get into Ron Will's Money Matters on here. Give you something about close to what I talk about. Well, what I do talk about on my channel, not even close to it, what I do talk about. If you in a business, if you want repeat business, you have to be competent at your job. You have to be good at it because you want people to want your business again. A lot of people, a lot of businessmen lose out because they just don't do a good job. Why would you spend money? Why would you give them a second chance? You don't want to give them a second chance. You might if they're your best buddy, but even then you might try to, if they're your best buddy, that just makes it harder because then you got to come up with a reason not to take 
their uh, take their services. Or if you just on a regular job, if you're competent, one, in most cases, they want to keep you around. In most cases, like I said, sometimes there's some political stuff. And when I say political, some personality issues or something, it happens. Once again, something for my Deep Thought channel. I mean, my uh, Money Matters channel. Shoot, deep Thought for that matter, too. But that is the key. You know, you want to move up in a job. Shoot, you need to be good at it. And, you, and if you're great at it, shoot, please. They want to give you more money because if you're being confident, you're making more money for them. And then what do you do with that money? When you're competent, in fact, indeed, when you're competent, you can, always, you can always keep a job. You can always keep a job. That's a very important thing. And that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. But see, a lot of, I, I don't know, one of the things I'm seeing is a lot of people, a lot of men, they don't want to be competent. They don't want to do a good job. Indeed, some have a mentality of, oh, yeah, I'm a sham, I'm going to do this, and they think there's something to it. Indeed, they might try to make fun of somebody always doing the right thing, always doing a good job. Seriously, it can be that deep. That's some bull. That's some bull. And in fact, you want to be, like I said, even beyond the job. If you have a home, you want to, clean, you want to keep it clean. You want to keep your environment clean. You want to be competent at that. And developing skills, any skills. Remember, I've talked before. You got to have some skills. I've talked before. A man needs to work on some type of body of knowledge that he becomes an expert at. You want to be able to talk uh, at least one thing in life you want to be able to speak on with some competency. You want to be able to be, have some expertise. It's, and it's just the more you get good at something, the better things are. And this, and this is, like I say, I was using the examples of money because, well, we all need money. But just whatever, whatever, just living your life, just how you keep your health up, shoot, making love to that beautiful woman. And if you want to be sovereign, you want to have that control in your life, over your life, you have to be good at what you do. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. Because if you're not good at what you do, how can you be sovereign? You can't keep a job, how can you be sovereign? People don't, a lot of people start not trusting you. So it's like you don't get those networks and all of that. So I want y'all to think about that, all right? A sovereign man must be competent. No ifs, ands, and buts. There's no discussion on this. There's no argument on this. It should be a part of, it should be so much a part of him that it becomes natural. All right. So that's all I have for today. Peace and many blessings. Keep rising. Become that sovereign man.